when I had people talking about, you know, social engagement, as you did, you know, social injustice, you know, the issue of the climate change and everything. I'm very happy that all the talks you have had, I am part and parcel of those talks. Because when he was talking about climate change, I'm a professional disaster manager. When you talk of, um, you know, social engagement, of course, definitely when you're a disaster manager, you have to engage people everywhere. Uh, and I have been an activist for a very, very long time. But you see, all of these issues of social engagement, social injustice and everything, at the end of the day, if you are not, you know, well enough, you do not take care of your mental health, at the end of the day, many problems will come. And this is why the topic is talking about talking of an elephant in the room. And we know what we're talking about here is talking about something that people do not see important, but it's happening with us. Especially for the fact that many people in the country and all over the world are doing, you know, with problems of, you know, a lot of uh, problems in their head in terms of, you know, social values, uh, family problems, the issue of governance. I think that face looks very familiar. Epa, is it? I think I know that face, right? That's good. You see, all this, at the end of the day, that creates a lot of problems in people, which will make people to either lose, uh, lose hope, some that cannot handle it will get into so many problems like, uh, you know, the issues of what we are having now, drug addiction. Some people would now be depressed. At the end of the day, it will lead to that elephant in the room, which is the issue of suicide. So people say, why are we talking about that? You are just seated here. It has happened that suicide is very eminent in, especially in many other countries, but it has come to Nigeria so much. To the extent now that we're talking, in each and every second, each and every 40 seconds, a person commits suicide globally. And this is just the tip of an iceberg because especially in Africa, we have many issues of underreporting. We don't report what happens. So to believe me to tell you, in Nigeria, at least it has happened that the prevalence in the fact that at least about 10 to 20 people out of 100,000. But this one is underreported. And some of us, even in some tertiary institutions, because of the problems of the fact that how we interact with each other, we do not look into the way we should, it, we should do it better. I do believe that if not that you have handled that your student, your mentee well, uh, I am serious. I know that she, might, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't want to be here. She's proud of you because you have taken her to be a human being. Interaction with people are very important. But most of us, including our tertiary institutions, we do what we normally call boss and whatever relationship. At the end of the day, you see somebody coming to a class as a lecturer, but the interaction between that person and the student is so bad that at the end of the day, if they hear that that person has, or maybe is involved in an accident, you hear them saying, may we pray that the person is dead. So if, those that feel that they are the educated ones do that. What do you expect when you go to ministries where you have that issue of being boss has been serious? So this is very important. But what, what brings about this? All the issues we have talked about can lead to that suicide. But it has happened that one of the most important uh, a kind of uh, reasons and factors leading to suicide is, the issue, or is depression. And this depression is serious and it has come. And many people experience depression without knowing. Some of us involved. It might be due to the fact that maybe educational pursuit. It could be due to family problems. It could be due to bad governance. It could be due to, you know, the issue of uh, social injustice. You know, wealth is not well, dis is not well distributed. You know, it's so, it's so skewed, especially when you come to Africa. But at the end of the day, you now see that most of these problems are around the fact that people do not see opportunities. Especially, I was telling someone last night again that it is in Africa that you have a lot of opportunities, but we do not see them. There are so many opportunities that if you go to the countries that you're talking about that you see, 
You cannot practice such things you do. Let an example is the issue of the social engagement you're talking about. There are some ethical issues that you must pass through. So many organizations will have to test to make sure that you pass them before you engage the community. In Nigeria, you, you can just do that. The issue of the fact that you even monitor what the government do and everything, there are, there are a lot of you know, hurdles that you must pass. But in Nigeria, there are a lot of things we can do, but we don't do them. And that's why even the way we are now, there are also people on strike. The reason is because if you look into the whole value chain, you now see that, to me, all of them are wrong. If you look at the government side, the government does not, does not see anything good. The reason is because of bad governance. It's because most of us do not follow the government like, you know, the Jamila does in order to see what do you do to people. Education is the bedrock of everything. But at the end of the day, when you do that, you say that the government is not what it's supposed to do. What of those people that feel that they are the educated ones? What do they produce? To me, if all of us seated here, I know that, uh, thank God, I am a businessman. I have my businesses. You look into your business and make sure that it, it prospers. And the people you pay, like, you know, the barista, when you're talking about those people that you were even promising, when you thought you're going to get the... Uh, <laughs> the NNPC, big shot kind of thing. You know, at the end of the day, you pay people according to their output. To me, if you look into the way we look or we have our education, how, how, much, do we, how much do we produce to deserve what we are even being given? We are having so many social problems in Nigeria, and our education, our education aids, most people in education, are not solving them. If you ask them how to even solve the problem, they don't know, because... The problem is even much one. Not even solving people's problems. They cannot solve their problems. I'm sorry to say that. I know if you get, I was just sitting there. I was looking into my phone. I saw somebody just, you know, the social media sent something. You know, some of these places in ABU. How, you know, the, how big ABU is? Just go there now. You see just places so empty. If you go to departments, even departments like ours or faculties where we're supposed to be, physical sciences where we're supposed to be working, people are not. The reason is because we have that psyche of the fact that we are waiting for someone to make us to help ourselves. And once you think about that, at the end of the day, that person is not seeing anything in you. I was telling someone, I said, look, to me, us, we should not be on strike anymore. They should just quickly go back to school. Why? It's because tanker drivers are more relevant than us members in Nigeria. And the reason is simple. If tanker drivers are on strike, everybody will know. So within one week, the government must solve the problem. Meaning this, it does not look to say that. Go back and look into yourself. Please tell us people. Let them go and sit down and think that. What means is we are not relevant because we are not producing something that will be relevant to people. <laughs> when the aviation sector wanted to go on strike, before you realize it, within one week, Senate committee, whatever, the Senate leader, everybody, they sat down. They made sure that those people should not go on strike. Why? Who are those flying? They are the ones flying, right? To you and I, they can go on strike, perhaps. But because they don't want them to go on strike, because they give them what they want. They don't want to be traveling from Abuja to Kaduna on the road. They want to fly. But no, they are showing us we are not relevant. Seriously. And that's why from the one, I charted my own ways of telling myself that let me make myself, because the cardinal principles of being in the university are three. One, you teach. You do research and you do community service. But most of us, how do we teach? It's another discussion. Do we do research really? Most of us do not. Some of us do, do, just do research because we want to get our MSc, we want to get our master's, PhD. Once we get that, especially when you, when you become a professor, some do not profess anything. At the end of the day, they don't have paper soup. You know, and it's a very big problem as a professor without paper soup. Some have no celebrated seller well, you know. So this suicide is very... But at the end of the day, how do you have this depression? This depression, it comes in to show to people. When people started to have to change mood, everybody knows how he or she... Some are introverts, some are extroverts, right? Once you see a change mood in you, 
you start to see that you want to be alone. You want to, or you start to also lose interest in the things you normally have interest in, which we call a halidonia. At the end of the day, you now tend to start going into depression, even without knowing. And when you have these episodes, you know, there are so many symptoms like that. Once you have at, at least about five of them, and then that continues to have at least maybe for more than a week. When you move into about three, three, uh, two to three weeks, just tell yourself you are depressed. Don't deny it. Start to get whatever. Then on that, how do we see this suicide happening due to depression? Yes. Some of the examples are seen glaringly. For instance, I could remember in 2019, for those in Amadou Bell University area, there was a suicide by one female member, something Mariam, that's her name or something like that. But at the end of the day, even with that, that's around February or something. But around December, there were attempts to suicide by students of nursing sciences. And that was because of the fact that the way the university handled problem of accreditation of nursing sciences became a problem. And at that time, I'm sorry, I was telling the vice chancellor that that was a wrong move because the students were trying to see the provost of the college as well as their head of, uh, HODs, but because most of us in academia do not have the simple understanding of how to contain issues. Most of us are just bookwormers, you know? At the end of the day, you don't know how to, you know? And that's why in advanced countries, when you go even, even to hospitals, of course, what you're going to have is that you have administrators to take care of everything. You go and take care of your health issues and many others. But now we are fighting. At the end of the day, you see that uh, a doctor must be the chief medical director. This must be this. At the end of the day, that's not your work because you don't even know the art of administration. So at the end of the day, those students, because they saw that their life was at stake, if no accreditation, at the end of the day, the 500 level students were not going to graduate. And they, because I was part of it, because I, I was advising them what to do, even to see that, you know, they, 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 you know the provost was a problem. You know, they will try to, you know, run away. They don't want to talk to you and so on. At the end of the day, about three students were prevented to commit suicide. When I was coming, I also checked that uh, at least about, in 2019 alone, there were about 35 cases in different universities, which maybe later as you're sending whatever, I will send the file to you so that you can share to see, according to the universities, including interview. There are so many. They happen tipper drivers in many other places, and so on and so forth. But the thing is, if we understand that suicide is one of the main factors to, to uh, sorry, that is um, uh, depression, is one of the main factors to suicide, and people are so depressed, we need to learn something which is basic. I normally tell people that, they say that one of the qualities of an educated person is to know many things about few things, and few things about many things. I hope I'm making sense to know many things about few things, and few things about many things. I'm in medical sciences, and I should know so many things about the different topics or subjects of medical sciences. But I need to know few things about social science. That's why I'm a social scientist too. I hold even a master's in uh, international affairs and diplomacy, and also in uh, uh, law enforcement and criminal justice, in sociology. I go out to learn a lot because that will make you an educated person. So if you do that, that will help you in creating wealth. With that, we came to realize that taking our knowledge to make it positive to people. We are in the medical sciences, we discuss about suicide, we discuss about, but at the end of the day, how do we manage people in terms of their mental health and stress management? With my engagement with um, uh, chief executives at different levels, NEMA, FAN, NCA, and so on and so forth. I got to them through disaster management. But at the end of the day, I now introduce to them. Some of them, when we are meeting, they will tell you, you know, Prof, we, you know, we, all these issues, we are tired, I'm having headache here. And I say, okay, look, the reason is because you have not been taking care of your mental health. So how do you do that? I say, okay, let me package something for you.